All right, everybody, no severe thunderstorm warnings like we had, what, 24 hours ago, but we do have an advisory for tonight because it's become so much colder. It's a frost advisory for the Adirondacks, right down the spine of the Green Mountains, but in particular, eastern Vermont. You get into New Hampshire, there are freeze warnings. It's going to be pretty darn cold out there, pushing 32 degrees if you've got tender vegetation outside. Just be aware of that. Here are our current temperatures. Wow, 59 Burlington, 58 degrees in Plattsburgh. We're in the 50s, left to right, top to bottom. Right now, Keene, it is. 54 degrees. Now you're going to be doing a little commuting. You're looking good out there tonight, Williston, I-89. Things are rolling around uh, just fine. We've got blue sky. We had a few clouds here and there, and that's about it. Here's the thing, though. It's pretty windy out there. Look at these wind gusts well into the 20s, 24 miles an hour in Burlington, 25 in Montpelier, almost 30 mile an hour wind gusts down in Bennington. The wind is going to pull back, but it's going to take a little bit for that to occur. As expected, clouds dissipating from the north on down to the south. Had to wait a while right in the Champlain. Valley for the clouds to get on out of the way. We've also got a system off to the west, going to bring some clouds in overnight tonight into the beginning of tomorrow. Certainly looks like it's going to be dry for the most part. Maybe a spritzel in the mountains, that's about it. And then I'm thinking more sunshine by a little bit later in the afternoon. As a matter of fact, the day is going to break down tomorrow this way for you. It is going to be a chilly start. 8 o'clock, about 42 degrees, mix of sun and clouds. Partly sunny, we're warming. At noontime, we're already into the 60s and then upper 60s to near 70 degrees, partly to mostly sunny, a little bit later in the afternoon. So tomorrow, big difference from today and wind is not going to be a problem. Speaking of wind, look at the setup here. Trough of low pressure goes through, pretty brisk northwesterly wind. We've got this front to the north that's finally going to come on down on Friday. And because of that, while it's not going to be a terrible day, we do run the risk of a couple of rain showers. That is Friday, not tonight or tomorrow. This is Futurecast for tonight. We're looking good, mainly clear skies. Good chunk of the night, then more clouds late. So here's the beginning of tomorrow. 7 o'clock in the morning, we've got clouds, a little bit of sun poking on through. By noontime, they're thinning. And then I think we find more sunshine by later in the day. Not perfectly sunny for everybody, but a lot of the Champlain Valley. And also, as you do get into the Adirondacks, just a chance for a couple of showers, especially in the mountains. Here's the thing the day after that on Friday. That's the front that's sagging on down. So clouds again giving way to increasing sunshine, but I think we have a better chance on that day to find. And, uh, well, a few rain showers around, not just in the mountains like we're thinking for tomorrow. All right, it's going to be frosty away from Lake Champlain, eastern Vermont, also in the Adirondacks. Low temperature tonight, 39 degrees. That's in the Champlain Valley. Of course, you get away from the lake, it's going to be colder than that. Here's what we're thinking for highs tomorrow 65 Tupper Lake, 66 in Malone, almost 70 degrees in Plattsburgh. As a matter of fact, partly sunny skies in Burlington. We're thinking it will be 70. 67 in Montpelier, Newport. At 65 degrees, partly sunny skies in places like Randolph, 67, Lebanon at 72, and partly sunny skies also in Wilmington, where it's going to be 62, and Springfield, where it is going to be 70 degrees. So, Champlain Valley tomorrow, partly sunny skies, 70 degrees. Clouds in the morning, then I think we find a little more sunshine later. Chance for a couple of showers in the morning on Friday. We go from 70 to 60, then we turn that around, at least to a certain extent, on Saturday. We see a lot of sunshine, 64 degrees. Marathon day coming up on Sunday. We're looking good on that day. Partly cloudy, 72. It does look like it's going to be dry. We're watching these models carefully. Memorial Day coming up on Monday. Chance for a shower or two late in the day on that day. We'll extend it out for you. Better chance for showers Monday night into Tuesday, 76. And the chance for showers on Wednesday as well with a high of 78.